Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode and the final ever episode of our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode here on the channel. That is right, we have reached the finale finally, 279 episodes of the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode and we are here to wrap it up today with final four races in all three series where our truck team, our Xfinity team, and myself in the Cup Series compete for a championship here today as we start things off here in the Truck Series where we actually had community member Driver McDriverface, that is correct, Driver McDriverface was in our truck here today for the finale in the tr uh, Truck Series competing for the championship here. Unfortunately though, late in this race, it was not going well here in Phoenix for McDriverface and he got passed by the 98 of Grant Enfinger, which was the Final Four competitor and currently we were fourth in the running order of the championship four but a pass on Gutierrez late in this race would propel us back into third with McDriver face behind the wheel but that was unfortunately as far as it would go into turns three and four on the final lap here in Phoenix for the Lucas Oil 150 it's not going to be a championship to wrap up our truck series career mode part of NASCAR Heat 5 there as driver McDriver face ends up P10 and John Hunter Nemechek wins the truck series championship as Stuart Friesen picks up the overall race victory there as you see the rest of the finishing order on your screen so the truck series has come to an end here in our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode there as you see John Hunter as your champion here now as you jump through into the Xfinity series here with the final race of Daniel Suarez behind the wheel of our number uh, number 77 yellow heart Ford Mustang here for going racing Daniel competing for a championship as well, but he was going up against guys like Kimi Raikkonen uh, as well as another Formula One driver of Roman Grosjean here. So it was a stacked final four to say the least for Suarez and similar unfortunately to the truck series it just didn't overall go that well here now as Daniel just could not work his way through the field he was up inside the top 10 but he just couldn't really go anywhere and we knew it was pretty much over right off the bat here as we come straight through to the final lap Suarez behind Grosjean through three and four for the final time here in the Desert Diamond 200 at Phoenix Raceway and it's not going to be enough for the championship in the Xfinity series either as Suarez finishes in the seventh position as Kimi Raikkonen is the best of the final four in P3 and sure enough wins the Xfinity Series Championship. So Kimi Raikkonen goes from a Formula One driver's champion over a decade ago to now a NASCAR Xfinity Series champion here in our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. all Geyer, Grosjean, and Suarez all come up short. And now it is time for our final ever Cup Series race here at Homestead Miami Speedway for the championship finale. Myself, Derek Krause, Chase Elliott, and Lewis Hamilton all compete for a championship here today. We're going to show the whole qualifying lap for like the first time ever, I think, here in the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode since it's the final episode. I did a 50% race this time, not 25%, so we do have some extra laps in this race. The last season, we were in position to win the championship in our final race for Gordon Hendrick Motorsports, and it ended in just heartbreaking fashion with a late race caution forcing overtime where we ran out of fuel while leading that race and lost the championship to Christian Eckes for Red Bull Racing as we exit turn four, though. Where are we going to qualify? It's going to be a 32.056 second lap here, and that puts us on row number three here in P6 for the Dixie Vodka 400 at Homestead Miami Speedway, and immediately there you see Lewis Hamilton has out qualified us there in P3. Our teammates of Reddick and Bell there, P1 and P2. Elliott there, P7, and then Derek Krause all the way down in 13th place. So three of the final four drivers inside the top 10 crows a little bit of work to do if he wants to get himself up into the mix to fight for a championship here in Homestead, Miami. One final race remains here in our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode and we compete for a championship here tonight at Homestead Miami Speedway. Lewis Hamilton, myself, Derek Krause, and Chase Elliott all ready to scrap it out here over 133 laps. Alright, it's the biggest race of the season. We're all behind you, man. Good luck out there. Thanks for the support, guys. Let's make it happen. Yeah, six teams gonna miss you a lot. Go into the championship though, all right? There you hear myself as well as Lantian over the radio here as we are ready to go green for the final ever episode here in the Dixie Vodka 400. There's to see Ryan Priest failed pre-race inspection. Sam Mayer had to replace a transmission before the race and Joey Logano, our rival, uh, crashed during qualifying so he is starting at the back of the pack so we shouldn't have to deal with him hopefully here today in the final ever episode now but who knows it could have the fastest car 
on the track here now as we are ready to get this final four episode underway green flag is out our teammates of tyler reddick and christopher bell lead the way to the green flag here lewis hamilton currently out in front of this final four battle into turns one and two on this opening lap here the goal is to just play it safe now don't need to be getting ourselves into trouble here in these first couple corners at least but i want to make a statement here of course and put myself out in front of this championship four battle as quick as i can i'm going to give hamilton a push here down the back straight away at least save it for a few moments here go on to lap two and maybe see if we can make a move down into turn one or something here now is hamilton immediately to the front of the pack here reddick falls down three wide as actually we are with him and our teammate of chris Christopher Bell here as we complete this first and opening lap. Hamilton, though, a little bit slow now on the straightaway. We're going to make it three wide with him into turn one and our teammate of Reddick now as we look to take not only the championship lead, but the lead of this race here now as we're side by side with the seven time world F1 champion now as we continue three wide down this back straightaway to the front. We go here just barely in front of that 44 and 60 of Hamilton and Reddick into turn three. Sure enough, we complete the pass and up into the front spot we go on lap two of 39 instead. Stage one. Like I mentioned, we are doing 50% length for this episode, not 25% here now. As we were clear, but we were quickly under attack from both Christopher Bell and a Final Four competitor of Chase Elliott. Three wide again for the lead here on lap four. Elliott hauling the mail on the inside. Lewis Hamilton quickly drifting backwards and Derek Krauss quickly moving forward. So Hamilton already, I think we can write him out of the championship contention because he was way off the pace. And when I say way off the pace, he was like a 12th or so place car at this point. So he he was really struggling here now as we got passed by Chase Elliott now as I really really didn't have the speed I needed here in these first couple of laps to really battle him and I knew we could definitely make some adjustments and whatnot. Hamilton actually got back up to third here on lap seven and then Derek Krause was able to get up into fourth place. So it was currently the top four drivers, all final four drivers, but that would quickly change here to lap nine. Here comes that 45 of Derek Krause who's on the move up my inside here on the exit of turn four. Hamilton had now drifted further down the order towards the bottom half of the top 10. Elliott trying to run away from both myself and Krause. And now I go a bit defensive here over that 45 here trying to cover him off but I realize that right now don't have the car probably to beat that 45 but now I'm noticing that already the nine of Chase Elliott he's starting to fall off a little bit as well so we should be able to get past him before you know it now as Krause though would be the first one to do that he passes me on the inside through turns one and two on lap 11 passes the nine of Chase Elliott up into the championship lead Derek Krause goes now so I'm gonna follow through on the inside there of that nine nap auto parts Chevrolet Camaro for that McLaren racing team down into turn three we will clear Chase Elliott and move up into the runner-up second position here now as we continue to move up the grid. That 45, though, looks really, really fast here early on in this race. But will he have that long run speed? That's the question. Now to lap 13. And he was still holding on to the lead comfortably. Now as I'm trying to experiment here running this outside line here. Now as actually we get to the outside wall, though, on the exit of turn four. Experimenting too much. We overcorrect when I got off the wall. Hit the outside wall again. And this time damage the right side of the car. Now at least we damaged the car early in this race. So we're going to have an opportunity to repair it here at the end of stage. At one end of the wall again there through the center of one and two and now we fall down to ninth place behind Lewis Hamilton so a big mistake from myself thank goodness we learned our lesson now here early on in this race because now we have you know still over a hundred laps to get ourselves back up to the front of this pack where Derek Krause currently is and by the time we come through to lap 17 we're starting to move our way back forward again we got past Lewis Hamilton up the inside here of Harrison Burton who's uh, really lit it up here late in this career mode now as Kyle Busch runs up there in P6 in his final ever NASCAR Cup Series race here as well in the final Heat 5 episode of course now uh, as we came through to move up into that seventh spot so now here on lap 25 of 39 in stage one uh, uh, now dealing with lap traffic we were there as Kraus is continuing to just have a commanding lead over the field and I knew it was going to be tough to battle him. We needed some adjustments. The car was feeling a little bit too loose uh, on the longer run. So I was looking to get some adjustments in the car there to make it tighter and whatnot. Now, uh, as at this point, I'm just trying to hang on to the end of the stage or make it to a caution, whichever one comes first. That is now here with 11 laps to go in stage one. We come through now to the end of lap 29 to lap 30 here. My field light comes on. So we do have to make a pit stop here within the next couple of laps now. As you can see, we're starting to close in on the nine of Chase. 
Chase Elliott and his teammate of Eric Jones, but the caution comes out here with 10 laps to go in stage one. Immediately, you see me jump on that wedge and put that up by three clicks from 50.0 to 50.3. And we're, of course, going to repair the car, put uh, four tires on it, and fill it up with fuel here as we get ready uh, to go green now. But it'll be less than 10 laps to go in stage one. So we give up four positions due to those repairs on the car. Lewis Hamilton now up in the ninth place there, just in front of us. Bubba Wallace up inside the top 10. Uh, a very just uh, down season for that 23 of Bubba Wallace here, who was a final fourth threat last season, only wins one race this season. Overall, uh, a great just kind of journey that 2311 racing team has had in our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. And now they are still competing for a championship here today with that second expansion card with Derek Krauss behind the wheel here. As we exit turn two back into the top 10 already, they're passing that DoorDash Toyota Camry now to the back of that number 44 of Lewis Hamilton as we go down into turn three on the inside of that number 48 of Alex Bowman there in that Ally Financial Chevrolet. Uh, now as you see, Elliot, one of our final four competitors, goes all the way up to the wall there on the exit of the corner interesting line there as he builds up a lot of momentum with five laps to go here or six laps to go in stage one now up again the inside of that mercedes driver of lewis hamilton can we complete the pass we're going to be three wide with him and chase elliott on the exit of turn two not quite enough to get clear of the nine car but we will get clear of that 44 of hamilton and then sure enough with five to go in stage one now an opportunity to attack to the inside of that napa nine auto part or napa auto part chevrolet nine car now is ross chastain for track house racing is out in front of this race here now up the inside of kyle bush as well got to give him as much room as possible we don't want to make it hard on him in his final ever nascar cup series race now as we easily pass that number 18 eminem's toyota camry and right on the back bumper of his teammate of harrison burton we can uh or i can tell you i passed him as well uh, as we would move on to now the 84 of chris busher with three laps to go in stage one we pass him we might even have a chance to beat Derek Krause here in this opening stage now as we just continue on this charge two laps to go kraus running second chastain still out in front we're gonna pass uh, Eric Jones has actually won the last two races at this track. He won the season finale here last season, didn't win the championship, obviously. Uh, and then he won Homestead earlier this season now as he tries to go three in a row at Homestead Miami. And he looks to have the speed to uh, be a competitor for a potential race win here tonight. Now, final lap, though, of stage one underway. Chastain on the inside, Krause on the outside, myself on the inside. Not the line I like to run, but it seemed to be working better at this point here in the stage. Now, as we get right to the back bumper of that number 45 of Derek Krause, down the back straight away for the final time towards turn three and now everybody is just going to run that inside there so that's going to pretty much eliminate the opportunity for myself to be able to pass that number 45 of Derek Krause as we exit turn four Ross Chastain will hold on to win stage one over Krause as we come through to cross the line here in third place so a strong opening first stage. You know, we hit the wall. We damaged the car. We came in. We fixed it. We rebounded up into P3. Uh, we obviously are not leading the final four at the moment. Is that 45 is really, really fast. But I feel like the short run is going to be our opportunity to capitalize on that 45 car here tonight. Now, is that long run, though, is going to really hurt us now as Lewis Hamilton is all the way down in P11 here. So, uh, Ross Chastain, though, wins the stage for track house racing. But out of the final four, it's Derek Krause who finds himself out front at the end of stage one. Ready to go green here for the start of stage two from the second row on the inside from P3 now. And we have the amp segment coming for the final time ever in the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode as we get underway in stage two. Definitely need to tighten it up here for the longer run. Okay, I guess we'll just raise the wedge.
there you have the amp segment here from Miami now the final ever amp segment and I will bring that back into the probably NASCAR 21 ignition career mode whenever that game is fixed enough to do it uh, as well as it will be present in my my driver series but stay tuned on that because uh, NASCAR 21 ignition is not the replacement series to NASCAR Heat 5 whatsoever um, that's just an add-on the replacement series to this uh, is going to be the my driver series and I haven't really detailed you guys on that yet because I haven't gotten it fully ready uh, but I will give you guys a lot more info once we actually start it here hopefully within the coming weeks here so uh, before the end of November for sure uh, but hopefully as soon as maybe the second week of November here now back focused on this race though Derek Krause continues to lead the final four he goes up the inside of Chastain he passed him and then now I go up the inside into turn three and we're going to try and complete the pass as well but Chastain he was going to be Ross Chastain. He gives us a very tough time here when we're trying to fight him now for that second position. I wasn't getting too uh, annoyed with him because, you know what, it's not the final stage yet. Although we're battling for a championship, I'm going to wait to the third and final stage to just shove him out of the way if he's trying to interfere. So we would eventually, though, get clear on lap 11 out of turn two there. Now is 84 of Chris Buescher trying to get up in the mix as well. That's the driver we beat into this round here. We were battling with him on points in Iowa, and he had a really rough race in Iowa. And thank goodness, because if we were competing against him in the final four, it was going to be a tough battle because he's having a top five run here just like myself and Derek Krause here now with 20 laps to go in stage two green flag pit stops will be coming here if it stays green now as we were running into lap traffic myself and Krause here running down Haley Deegan now on the outside you see her in 39th place and Krause gets the momentum but he actually gets caught up behind Deegan there's the opportunity we need right there now a lapped car interfering with the championship battle and that allows me to go through on the inside Krause does get through eventually but obviously lose is the lead to myself over that uh, little just kind of scuffle getting past that four car of a Deegan so to the front we go here with 18 laps remaining in stage two and now this is an opportunity for us to really see what we got can we pull away from the 45 well we're not even going to find out because as soon as that happens a caution comes out and forces everybody into the pit lane here so we're going to take two cans of fuel once again we're going to put four fresh tires on the car and I was starting to think about adjustments as well and I'm thinking we can actually put uh, quite a bit of grill tape on this car here now as I was paying attention to the temperatures and I could see they were actually quite low now I didn't actually uh, go and adjust them yet but it was just something I was thinking about but you did see me as well not only make it a little bit tighter with the wedge but I also made a right rear tire pressure adjustment here as we come in P1 and come out in P1 here alongside Derek Krause Chase Elliott there just outside of the top five Lewis Hamilton not even in the top 10 so Hamilton will need a miracle to win the championship here today Elliott just needs maybe that one good adjustment to get himself back out in front here now as we are back underway down into turn one Krause on that outside is already behind us there and side by side with the 99 of Ross Chastain here now as we are in a really good spot here to potentially win stage two now is a big run there from Chastain on the inside I actually throw the block on him I didn't really feel like dealing with him and then here comes Krause to the outside though down into turn three he gets a really good run into the corner right there as I try to clear him doesn't quite happen on the exit of turn four and Derek Krause is going to just pass Power his way on that outside to the front and lead this opening lap of the restart here as we come through to 13 final laps in stage two now down into turn one under attack from Chastain and that 84 of Chris Buescher now as we exit turn two it's going to be that 45 of Krause with the momentum but a side draft him right there down the back straightaway can we hold on to just at least that side of Krause and yes we do down into turn three we remain side by side but look at the speed he's able to carry on that second lane here as we try to fight back to the center and on the exit of turn four though it's going to be Krause getting clearer here on the exit of turn four unbelievable amount of speed in that number 45 car here today as I'm right to his back bumper down into turn one but I didn't really have a whole lot for him after this point we come straight through to just four laps to go in the stage and he had driven away and we all really drove away from fourth place on back but I was still having to deal with that number 99 of Ross Chastain uh, and in my head I was saying you know what if it comes down to the final stage and Chastain's still really fighting both of us I'm just going to run into the side of him put him in the wall whatever to get him out of here so uh, straight to the final lap Chastain was able to get clear as we come through at a turn two down the back straightaway for the final time and Derek Krause is just unbelievable right now in that number 45 car here as he tries to pick up 23-11's first ever Cup Series Championship here in this final episode of the NASCAR Heat 5. Kuruma 3-3 and out of turn 4 down the front straightaway. Derek Krause won stage 1. Well, he's going to come through as well to win the second stage as we cross the line just behind Chastain in that third position. So we've got some work to do there as the final four are first. 
third and fifth with Chase Elliott. But where is that number 44, seven-time F1 world champion of Lewis Hamilton? He is not even in the top 10 here at the end of stage two. Hamilton, like I said, you can pretty much write him off. He's in 12th place. He's going to need some strategy miracle or something if he wants to fight for a title there. As you saw me add some grill tape there to the car. We're up to 50% compared to what 35% previously uh, as Derek Rose not only wins stage two, but of course is the best of the final four here so far in Miami. The final ever stage on NASCAR Heat 5 career mode is about to get underway here now as we are underway here from third place lap 83 of 134 the final ever 52 laps of our career motor underway. Chase Elliott just behind myself, but it's Derek Krauss, myself, Elliott, Lewis Hamilton competing for a championship here tonight in Homestead at Miami Speedway. Hamilton out of the picture. Elliott needs a lot of work to that car if he wants to be in the mix, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So right now it looks like it's going to be between myself and Derek Krauss for this title here now as we go down into turn three we clear that number 99 of Ross Chastain a lot easier than I anticipated but he finds back there to the inside I decided to chomp his nose I said get out of here at this point Ross we're in the final stage and I want to go fight for a championship and not deal with you who's running 27th in points so we go down into turn one and hold on to that second position here now as Elliot moves up into third place there in that Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet now does he finally have that speed that he needs as he moves up into that spot I don't really think he does we can already see that we're pulling a gap on him now and I know the short run is where we are better than Derek Krause so if we want to try and make a pass for the lead we need to do it within the next three four five or so laps of this uh, final stage here so as soon as we get to that 45 we need to pounce on that opportunity there to make a pass on him here as we get closer and closer here through turns one and two now and you see Busher up into third Kyle Bush as well and Chastain pass Chase Elliott now here's our opportunity to pass the number 45 of Derek Krause on lap 86 down into turn three side by side here now as we go into the corner but right here you're going to see the speed just kind of shifts towards that number 45 of Krause here on the exit of four I get as close as I can without wrecking him there and he just once again gets clear and I see those guys closing in behind us there and as I move to the inside there actually pushed the 45 by accident so I knew I wasn't going to be able to make a pass right there so now on the exit of turn two all the way to lap 92 myself and Krause had driven away from third place on back so we were free to fight however we wanted but then and again, the caution comes out. It feels like when everything's about to start to get spicy for this championship battle, a caution comes out and then just screws everything up. If we pit now, we cannot make it to the end of this race. So uh, the majority of the field stays out. You see some drivers that are multiple laps down or one lap down coming to the pits. And Gutierrez and Timmy Hill as well bring it into the pit lane. So... We know we've got work to do to beat that number 45 of Derek Cross. And the only thing I could think of at this point was adding more grill tape to the car. I don't think it's a handling issue anymore. I think it's a speed issue here as we get to ready to restart here on the front row alongside Krause as the green flag is back out and it is going to be less than 40 laps to go remaining in the NASCAR Heat 5 crew remote here in the Dixie Vodka 400 at Homestead Miami here as we go down into turn one we are going to now actually be at a bit of a disadvantage there on that second line now as Krause about to get clear but we fight back though on the exit of turn two there Chastain and P3 ready to pounce if myself and Krause maybe come together here as we go down towards turn three here so Side by side with that number 45 car but here is where that 45 speed is really going to shine he blows the doors right off of my car and well back down to second place we go here is now Kyle Busch is side by side behind us with that number 99 of Ross Chastain a move here just about to the inside across but he covered it off very nicely as we went down into turn one so didn't want to who risk crashing him or myself there so I definitely uh, made an evasive action there got on the brakes to make sure nothing went wrong there now as we continue P2 but once again a run on Krause to the inside this time as we go down into turn three we know these race starts are going to be just prime opportunity to pass at number 45 just like that right there to the lead we go here in the number six car new leader number six out in front here in Miami on lap 99 of this final stage here. And we were starting to pull a gap, surprisingly, to that number 45 of Krauss. But it was because he was actually running a little bit higher up the track. So I wasn't too surprised to see that we were actually 
pulling away from him now lap 100 closing in on the final 30 laps ever to this career mode we continue to hold on to a nice comfortable gap over that number 45 but once again the caution comes out here with 34 laps to go as we're leading and everybody this time actually not everybody here as you see a very mixed strategy but i see my biggest competitor of Derek Krause brings it into the pit lane so i bring it in as well four tires and two cans of feel and we are going to be right on that borderline of making it to the end of this race it's a risk though that we're willing to take especially when we see our biggest competitor right now kraus doing it and this right here is a golden opportunity for us to potentially pull away from Derek kraus because we know the ai they struggle to get through traffic and well we don't so this is a huge opportunity it is going to be 31 laps to go and we have 31 laps of field now it will go down to 30 though before we hit 30 laps to go so we actually are still in a position where we are going to have to save a little bit of fuel just not sure exactly how much yet as we're three wide there with the 41 anemic check and our arrival of Lagana. that's the only time we've seen him today and probably the last time we will see that shell Pennzoil ford mustang there and that number 22 now is eric jones leads away here on the final 30 laps that are about to be underway in miami now as we continue to move our way forward so you're already up inside the top 20 up in the 16th place there and then we continue on this charge got up to the outside past one of our competitors of Lewis Hamilton there go to the outside three wide with Bubba Wallace as well as Ty Gibbs there behind our teammate of the 17 of Christopher Bell then to the outside of Chase Elliott into the lead of the final four we go here now with 28 laps to go and Derek Cross I was looking behind myself a lot here and I could not even see that 45 we were doing really good here now lap 108 to the inside of Eric Jones and sure enough we take the lead of the race here on lap 108 of 134. Now the goal is that I've opened up a gap first of all the goal is to now save a little bit of fuel and you can see how much I'm looking back I'm trying to see where is that 45 of Krauss how much of a gap do I have to him how comfortable am I compared to him and now how much fuel do I have to save and by the calculations I was doing of just looking at the screen it was looking like I was just shy of three quarters of a lap short you'll see that right here now as I have an estimated 21 laps of fuel and right here as we exit turn two it goes down to 20 so we were just barely over half a lap short at this point here now so I go into fuel save mode here and I really was doing a good job of saving I felt like now is behind us Eric Jones comes into the pit lane and everybody that stayed out under that last caution uh, is going to have to pit here in these next few laps so now we have to hope that a caution does not come out because that'll force us into the pit lane but if a caution comes out we do have to hope it stays green for a while that way it will force everybody else into the pit lane as well so there's a whole lot of things going on here kraus into second place i'm into the outside wall there on the exit of turn two we give up time you see the gap right there less than three seconds between myself and kraus in these closing laps as we're in the same spot as we were last season here at the end of this race when we lost that championship in heartbreaking fashion i am just hoping no caution comes out once again while I am running away with a Cup Series title now as it's still about 2.3 seconds to Krause coming up to the final 10 laps of the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode now is Cole Custer there just in front of us there as we're closing in on Logano Lewis Hamilton has crashed in turns 1 and 2 now and he's going to get hit by the 3 of Austin Dillon and he's going to go up and over there after getting hit by the 10 of Eric Almarola. the caution comes out with 10 laps to go as Lewis Hamilton's championship hopes officially come to an end here and you see the field situation Krause stays out so I said you know what I'm staying out with you here as we're going to get ready for a now less than 10 lap scrap with Derek Krause for the championship what a season it has been what a career mode it has been and it comes down to these final moments right here is the potentially final restart ever of this career mode is underway now it is going to be seven laps remaining against Derek Krause here as we go down into turn one we have the advantage of that inside we are already clear into the corner over Krause Busher just behind myself there on the inside as well in that number 84 Red Bull Toyota Camry here who has led that Red Bull team this season over the defending champion of Christian Eckes who won this championship last season capitalizing on myself running out of feel on the very final lap of this race here now where we have uh, just heartbreakingly lost that title there was no way I'm going to let myself lose it here today as we exit turn four on lap 129 coming to five laps to go up the inside Kraus or sorry not Kraus Busher 
goes here as we go down into turn one. He takes the lead. I also want to win this race really, really bad. So now on level 131 up the inside again there, a bit of an aggressive there move on that 84. We slide up the track into the side of the 84 of Busher. There's Krauss on the inside just behind us there now as we go down this back straightaway side by side with that 84 of Chris Busher. Krauss, a few car lengths back and we've got a bit of a barrier in between myself and him and that's the 99 of Ross Chastain. We know Ross Chastain will not move out of the way for anybody no matter what the situation is. So I felt pretty confident until he gets to my inside on the exit of turn two with three to go. A block on Derek Krauss there. He's right on my back bumper down the spike straight away into turns three and four approaching two laps to go. Kyle Busch takes it three wide on Derek Krauss. A very aggressive move there from the now four-time Cup Series champion in his final ever NASCAR Cup Series race. Two laps remain here in the championship race. Ascend up the inside again of Ross Chastain here. I couldn't quite pull it off right there. I really, really want to win this race along with the championship. Now Kyle Busch still between myself and Derek Krauss as we're in a comfortable spot down the spike straight away. What a race it has been here battling that 45 all night long up the inside into turn three of Ross Chastain as we try to clear him through the center of the corner now as we're going to exit turn four still side by side with that 99 track coast Chevrolet Camaro here some contact down the front straight away white flag in the air the final lap ever is underway as we go down into turn one now Krauss two cars in between himself and I we're in great shape he's now under attack from the 84 of Chris Busher there a block there on the 99 we actually chomp his nose some contact with Chastain Kyle Busch to our back bumper he's trying to win his first race of the season in his final ever Cup Series race before he calls it a career into three and four for the final time. Kraus to the top. He's got three cars in between himself and I and we exit turn four and in the final ever race, we're going to come through to win the race in Miami and win our second Cup Series championship here in Homestead Miami Speedway. What a finish. What a race. And we end it as a Cup Series champion for the second time ever here as we also pull off the victory in the Dixie Vodka 400. I could not believe we pulled that one off because the 45 of Derek Krauss is so fast and I'm really curious to see what would have happened if it had stayed green uh, without that last caution there as Hamilton actually ends up P26. He remained in the race surprisingly there uh, as Haley Deegan and Tony Bredinger would be the two DNFs on the race there. Now as we get to do our race and championship burnout here in Miami. Thankful uh, to pull that one off there, especially after what happened last season. There was no way I was giving up the championship this time around here. Uh, but I honestly thought that 45 was going to have an opportunity to run away with it at many points in this race there. So, uh, thankfully, we made it happen. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that one there. As, uh, it was, uh, you know, not the most action-packed race. We didn't have a whole lot of accidents. We had the fair share of cautions. But just the racing overall was tremendous here in Homestead, Miami there. As you see, the Cup Series Championship, it's the second time only that we've won it. And I don't know how many Cup Series seasons we did. Six or seven of them. It was unbelievable here. But um, that's it. The NASCAR Heat 5 career mode comes to an end and we see our overall stats there on the cup series we won 34 races in 257 starts we had 179 top tens we led 1249 laps and of course we won two championships at the end of it now we only won four races this season uh compared to i think our record was eight wins in one season of course, I hope you guys enjoyed every moment of the series and want to say thank you to everybody that helped out from painting the schemes and whatnot from uh, Latian to FRG Designs to Vixen. I saw uh, Lucas, of course, made a truck scheme for us. Ozzy Cone paints their website as well as even Renato, who really kickstarted it off for myself way back uh, in the early days of this career mode. So thank you all, everybody, each and every single one of you that watches the series as well for the support. So just want to say thank you to the members of as well of MJ, Joseph9001, Timothy Arline, Hayes Gaming, Brett Derward, Dark Gengar Gaming, AJ Vesur, Russell Dixon, Kenneth Barnett, Dana9302, Speed Demon 341, Ellis Emery, D Muzzy, uh, 65 as well as Joe Brett. I appreciate everybody's support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day everybody.